when we come to uh, talking about the construction of Del Hollow Dam, uh, the construction officially started in February of 1942. And completed in 1943. It was engineered by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and it was constructed by private contractors. Its primary purpose in being here is flood control. But we have different authorizations, such as secondary authorization is the production of clean, efficient hydroelectric power. As far as the powerhouse, everything was, uh, was kind of put to the side during uh, World War II. And after World War II, construction began again on the powerhouse, and it concluded in about 1948. Well, in 1948, we had our first unit that went online. Then 49, Unit 2 went online, and then there was a few years of a pause, you know, pause there, and uh, Unit 3 went online and in production of power in 1953. So there were several years there of construction with some pauses in between uh, that eventually got us to where we are now. When the dam itself was under construction, um, at that time, even in the 40s, there was the, the onlook of not being wasteful. And so all of the marketable timber that could be taken out at the time was logged and that timber was used. The uh, rock to, for the concrete came from all of this region. Everything locally sourced as much as possible in the construction of the dam. A lot of the machinery and equipment as original. Uh, uh, awesome safety and maintenance record here. We're still using a lot of that. We don't replace it unless it ex absolutely has to be. Pretty much everything here is still original equipment. So that tells you the, robu the robustness of what was put in place, but it also says a lot about the maintenance that is uh, uh, conducted here at Dale Hollow. And that is what we are in charge of. That's what I'm over as far as everything goes is the maintenance of this facility. The reason I wanted to, to show you this is just showing you uh, how the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, how we really try to recycle and reclaim everything that we can and get the most use out of every product that we buy for, uh, you know, just as a, just as a savings to the, to the country itself. Uh, and we utilize quite a bit of oil here for the uh, uh, insulating purposes inside the transformers and the OCBs. And an OCB is a, an oil circuit breaker. And the oil inside of an oil circuit breaker is the extinguishing agent that is utilized to uh, extinguish the arc that is produced when you open a circuit with a large amount of current flowing through it. There is a portion of the oil that is uh, carbonized, burnt, and uh, after some amount of time and depending on the amount of operations that that OCB has uh, seen in that amount of time, the uh, buildup of carbon will de deteriorate its ability to extinguish that arc. And at that point, we will take that oil, uh, bring it inside the facility into our dirty oil tank, and then we will run it through this uh, oil filtration system and then put it back in as cleaned oil. But what this, uh, what this is, it's an oil recycling unit. It takes the oil that we utilize out here, we run it through this filtration machine, it takes out all the moisture, the oil tests at a higher value than it did when we bought it new. And that's after it's been used for years. You run it through this and it comes back with a, with a better rating than it did when we bought it. Instead of having to buy new oil all the time, and the process of getting rid of the old uh, used oil, we have a filtration system in place that will take that oil and make it just as new. This is a United USA made product and it is made in Cookville, Tennessee. And uh, it is a, a world renowned oil filtration uh, company and uh, we, were, we were lucky to be able to, to get one. We also are very proud um, to have such a beautiful lake, a beautiful resource uh, to offer for people we want them to come and visit during our 
75th anniversary year, we really encourage folks uh, to come out and visit. Just drive to Del Hollow, camp, stay, see what we have to offer. And if you can't, definitely check in with the various programs and our online uh, opportunities to see these videos and, and do an armchair tour of Del Hollow Lake.